and I will hear you when I
올해 오늘 이런 그 광고 캠페인을 이제 알리는 기자회견을 이제 한다면은 어 바로 10년 전에 이제 천, 어, 그 1995년도에 그때 당시에는 우리 또 영주권자 그 할머니 할아버지 분들의 어떤 그런 그 월표 혜택을 어, 박탈하겠다고 하는 그런 월표 개혁법이 이제 상정되었고 그거에 이제 반대하기 위해서 바로 10년 전에도 저희 그 우리 한인 커뮤니티가 주도가 돼가지고 워싱턴 포스트에 이런 광고를 어, 게재함과 동시에 우리 이민자들의 어떤 사회복지 혜택 권리를 그들이 우리 스스로의 권리 우리가 찾기 위한 그런 캠페인을 어, 시작하고 그리고, 그리고 97년도에 우리 영주권자 노인분들이 그런 그 SSI를 받을 수 있도록 또 복원되는 그런 성과를 얻었습니다. 그럼 10년이 지난 그 지금에 있어서 우리 이민자 커뮤니티가 지금 직면하고 있는 또 우리가 그 어려움을 겪고 있는 그런 문제들은 무엇인지 어 일단 그런 차원에서 좀 전국적으로 잘 아시겠지만 그 이민 개혁에 대한 이슈는 어 지금 전국적인 그런 어떤 이슈로 어, 지금 상정이 되었고 한쪽에서는 이민자들이 미국 사회 위에 테러리스트고 또 미국에 와서 우리의 그 직장을 빼앗는다. 그래서 이민, 이민을 금지하고 또 미국에 살고 있는 수많은 그 수천만 명의 서류 기자들이 추방되어야 한다는 흐름이 하나가 있고요. 또 우리 저희 이민자 커뮤니티는 그렇게 많은 1,100만 명이 넘는 이 서류 기자들이 미국에 살고 있고 미국 사회의 노동으로서 기여하고 있고 그들의 어떤 그런 사회적인 노동적인 기여를 인정해주고 그들이 우리 사회의 한 부, 부분으로서 어깨를 피고 살아갈 수 있는 어떤 그런 그 신분 합법화 어떤 기회가 제공되어야 된다 하는 그런 저희들의 그런 요구가 있고요. 또 하나는 그 수많은 수천 명의 수백 명의 우리 영주권자 시민권자 분들이 그 가족과 떨어져서 적게는 5년 또 길게는 20년 이상 가족과 떨어져서 그 살아야 되는 그 어떤 가족 재결합의 문제가 있고요. 또 지난 5년 동안 어, 국경에서 2천 명이 넘는 그러니까 해마다 3, 400 명의 우리 이주 노동자 분들이 국경에서 그 사망한 곳이 있습니다. 그런 어떤 어떤 그 이주 노동자들의 인도적인 어떤 그런 처우와 어떤 그런 문제에 대한 어떤 관심 그리고 어, 어떤 그리고 우리 서름이 비자들의 어떤 경제 기억에 대한 어떤 그런 인정 그런 어떤 그 요구들을 저희들이 이런 그 광고 에다 담아가지고 우리 커뮤니티에서 모은 그런 적은 작은 정성들 또 그런 그 정성들이 광고와 그 개재됨으로써 어떤 워싱턴 디스 있는 정치인들에게 이렇게 알릴 수 있는 좋은 그런 어, 캠페인으로 저희들이 지금 시작을 하려고 합니다. Vice President of Unite Here uh, International Union. Our union represents about half a million workers in the United States and Canada. Workers who are immigrants, workers from all over the world, uh, who do the work in hotels, who wash the dishes, who uh, work in the laundries, who work in the textile, and who work in the garment industry. These are all immigrant workers who need to have their work respected and their status as hard-working men and women in this country also respected. For that reason, our union is a part of this coalition. And for that reason, our union is also taking a leadership role within the Federation, the AFL-CIO, to make sure that we continue to stand on the side of immigrants and continue to fight for the rights of immigrants. When immigrants come here, like my parents came here from Mexico, they come here to work hard. We want to respect the laws, but right now, the immigration laws and the immigration system is broken down. And it is not right. These laws are not fair right now. 
And we have to address the security, national security of this country. Of course we do. But we also have to respect the rights and have immigration laws that are fair for workers in this country. Because when immigrants come here, they come here to work. And that is why we have to change the laws. But we should not do a piece here and a piece there and make it unfair. We should make sure that this is comprehensive and that while we deal with enforcement at the border, let's also deal with enforcement of employers who do not respect labor laws. Let us also enforce labor rights. Let us also enforce workers' rights. That should also be a part of this. Unite families, because that's important to workers. That's why they come here, because of the dreams of their families. And we know we have been working on this. We are a very persistent group, very persistent. We are not going to give up, no matter who's in the White House and no matter who's in Congress. We are not going to give up. We are going to keep fighting for a complete package. And we also are going to change, we need to change the dialogue in this country to stop being anti-immigrant because of national security concerns. There should be good dialogue, positive dialogue, constructive dialogue, and constructive debate. And we do not want piecemeal. We want a comprehensive approach to all of the issues in the immigration system. For that reason, our union and the labor movement is in support of this ad campaign. We need to get the word out. And we're doing this nationally to make sure that no matter where immigrants are, their voice is going to be heard. Thank you.
to legal permanent residents for hardworking immigrants who are now forced to live and work in the shadows. This is approximately 11 million individuals. But of those 11 million individuals, 2.7 million are actually um, under 18. These are young people, um, many of which are actually sitting here, um, who actually also um, need to see a better future for themselves, uh, to the place uh, and be part of the place that they call home. Um, reform that unites our families by reducing the immigration backlog. Many individuals are undocumented in this country because they gave up waiting the 15 plus years in order to be reunited with their families. Uh, many individuals are in line. They're waiting um, to have some um, legal uh, document finally approved um, so that while many times you say we don't want anybody to um, get a ahead of the line of those who are actually in the backlog, many undocumented are in line. They've been waiting in line for many, many years. Um, we stand united on a plan to manage the future flow of migrant workers that is designed to prevent abuse and exploitation and that allows those who grow roots here to eventually apply for permanent residence. So we believe that, yes, this country needs to recognize that it actually that needs, um, lo uh, needs uh, workers, immigrant workers, uh, in many of its fields. In many of its fields. Um, and that it should actually recognize and, and create a program by which individuals can come into the country legally, in which they have an opportunity to eventually become legal permanent residents. Um, we believe that feature, we stand by features that strengthen and protect workers' rights so that our immigration laws can no longer be used as a tool to reduce wages and working standards. We believe that today immigration laws are used in to divide workers in the workplace, um, that uh, employers that seek to exploit um, workers see immigration policies as a perfect way to do so and that that needs to change because when uh, workers are denied, some workers are denied their rights, all workers are in, in jeopardy of losing their rights. We um, stand behind provisions to defend and protect immigrant civil liberties and civil rights, um, especially um, in post-September 11th America and post-September 11th world. Today there were bombings in London uh, once again. But we believe that we all care about national security, but that a certain group cannot um, become the scapegoat for um, uh, ills that actually um, fall on all of us. And we stand behind immigrant immigration relief for undocumented students who have grown up in this country and farm workers who, who feed our nation. There are proposals currently, the DREAM Act and ACT Act, that can actually legalize um, young people in this country who are undocumented and provide them an opportunity to have access to higher education and also uh, provide um, legal status for farm workers in this country. These are all bipartisan proposals um, that we need to move forward. We here in Los Angeles are poised um, to have a say on immigration um, reform. Beyond our numbers, we have the largest undocumented, uh, the largest um, immigrant population, 42% of, uh, of LA's community is actually um, uh, immigrant. Uh, but that we, beyond our numbers, we can actually utilize, whether it's putting a dollar towards this campaign, picking up the phone and calling our elected officials, we are ready to, to work uh, to move our elected officials towards comprehensive immigration reform that includes all these principles. In California, we have two of the most powerful senators uh, in Cong uh, right now in Congress. And uh, we have uh, Senator Feinstein, who is um, a senior senator in the Judiciary Committee. Any immigration policy must go through her committee. She will have a say. We need to utilize our numbers, to utilize our power, and to really reflect on why things need to change for our families, to push Senator Feinstein, to ensure that Senator Boxer remains um, supporting immigrant um, rights, and that they stand in support of what will be real solutions. We believe real solutions are the DREAM Act, ad jobs, and certainly the McCain-Kennedy proposal that has been out, uh, that has been introduced in uh, early in May of this year. Uh, we're united, uh, we will remain united, and as uh, Maria Elena said, we will be persistent, and we will, uh, we will remain together until um, there is uh, fairness and uh, recognition for all immigrant families in this country. Yeah.
한 입장을 가지고 다 저희가 다그 통일 단결됐는데 그한 뜻이 어떤 것이냐면 하나는 그 1,100만 명이 넘는 우리 선임민자 분들이 어 우리 사회에 합법적으로 우리 사회 한 부분이 될수 있도록 합법 신분화 기회 제공 그 다음에 이제 그런 가족 재결합의 어려움을 주는 어떤 그런 서류 적체 현상 감소 그리고 앞으로 미국에 이주하시는 이주 노동자 분들이 인도적으로 이주할 수 있고 또 이주하신 이후에 그런 그분들의 어떤 노동자의 권리들이 보장받을 수 있고 또 그분들이 앞으로 미국 계속 그 어, 거주할 수 없는 그분들이 미국에 사법적으로 거주할 수 있는 그 신분 어, 변경의 기회, 그다음 이제 노동자들의 권리 보장 그리고 요즘에 계속 그 이민자 그 단속 집행들이 심해지고 있는데 그에 따른 그 이민자들의 어떤 인권과 민권을 어, 보장하는 것이 중요하고요. 그리고 뭐 아까도 말씀하셨다시피 1,100만 명의 그 서류 이민자들이 있는데 그 중에 한 270만 명의 어, 분들이 그 18세 미만의 그런 청소년들 학생들이라고 합니다. 그래서 그런 분들을 위해서 우리 드림 법안의 통과와 그리고 농장 노동자들을 위한 그런 그 애그자 그 법안들이 어, 수직히 통과되는 것을 그 이민자 분들이 그 바라는 것이라고 말씀. Yesterday, Senator John Cornyn and John Kyle introduced their proposal of a different immigration bill that is expected to be introduced any day next Our next speaker, Vincent Joaquin, the Executive Director of the National Immigration Law Center, will talk more about the contents of the bill and why it fails to address the current immigration problem. Good morning, and thank you for coming. And on behalf of NILC, I want to say how happy we are to be part of this effort and campaign in support of real immigration reform. Uh, as I said, I, I'm going to address a bill that um, I actually haven't had the opportunity to read the language of the bill. I've only had summaries and what we've heard from the offices of Senators uh, Cornyn and Kyle. Um, but based on that, it's, I have to express real disappointment that although they uh, have the desire to enact comprehensive immigration reform, this does not do it. This bill is largely an enforcement bill calling for more repressive and extreme enforcement of immigration law, but it fails to recognize the need of, of, of dealing with the 11 million undocumented immigrants who are here living and working and contributing to the society. <coughs> what the bill does provide, I'll, I'll lay out very briefly because I've included in your packets a summary that uh, goes into more detail. So I encourage you to, to look at that if you have other questions. But briefly what it does is for people already here in an undocumented status, they could apply for basically permission to remain here temporarily and then leave. It's a, um, we give you permission to remain up to five years working, but you would have to leave the country at the end of that time. It's not a realistic proposal because it really gives people no incentive to apply to do that. It also would bring in, and with unlimited numbers really, uh, temporary workers again, to come into the country to work, but not with any vehicle that would then give them permanent status in the country. These proposals are flawed because they don't recognize the realities that have led to the uh, immigration problems we have in this country. The fact our immigration system doesn't work. It does nothing to address the backlogs in family unification that may, in many cases, take people decades to unite with their family members and obtain legal status. It also does nothing to recognize, uh, again, to give legal status to people who are here contributing. And the concept then instead will bring in temporary workers and perform this work solely on people coming here temporarily to work is just unrealistic. And then it does call for greatly increased enforcement, <coughs> including basically a national ID system under which people would have to have either federal identification or state driver's licenses and IDs in order to work and their work with employers would be, part, would be electronically verified. Again, a system that is unrealistic at this time. We don't have the technology. We don't have the system. We have basically a pilot program that does that. But it's used by 0.04% of all employers right now. This proposal would require all employers to use it. All of these problems, and again, the increased enforcement including calling for local police and state police to take action to help enforce immigration law is totally unrealistic. It's not possible to deport everyone here. It would be a terrible devastation to this country were we to try to do so. So again, we, um, always was disappointment, 
there is hope that Senators Cronin and Kyle will recognize that this proposal doesn't address the fundamental principles of comprehensive immigration reform that uh, Marilena and uh, Angelica have laid out, and they were laid out in this campaign. These things have to be addressed, and we would hope that they will reconsider and revise the proposal to do that. And right now, the only proposal that has bipartisan support and that does comprehensively address immigration reform is the McCain-Kennedy bill. And as Angelica also mentioned, there are current proposals that Congress could enact immediately because they're already um, out there, which are the DREAM Act and Ag Jobs, which would provide some immediate help, not comprehensive help, but some immediate help to large and deserving populations here in this country. So with that, uh, uh, I'm going to end right now. If people have further questions, I encourage you to review the materials we submitted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We are very excited, Service Employees International Union, to be able to be here today with um, our community allies. Um, for those of you that don't know, Service Employees International Union, SEIU, actually began um, as an immigrant uh, janitor's union in the 1920s in Chicago, and, and that was our first local ever um, in the country. And years later, we continue the great tradition of welcoming immigrants into the union movement. We now represent more, more immigrants than any other union in the country. Our 1.8 million members, um, about 20% of our membership is immigrant. California, we have about 600,000 members, and, and large portions of the immigrant um, membership is, is from California, New York, and Chicago, where this campaign is, is going to be at. Um, comprehensive immigration reform is a very important issue for immigrant members as well as native-born members. Um, all of our members know that when immigrants join together, with native-born workers that employers can't divide and conquer, making all of our workers stronger. While you know, we realize no piece of legislation will fix all of the problems and all of the injustices faced by immigrant communities, the um, McCain-Kennedy Secure American Orderly Immigration Act, we feel strongly is, a, is the right step in the, in the right direction. Um, a path to citizenship, family reunification, a voice in the job and, and the right to be treated fairly 
with dignity and respect are, are addressed in the bill. Um, and it is our goal, along with this coalition, that workers will no longer be intimidated and exploited on the job by unscrupulous employers who abuse them solely based on the immigration status. More importantly, it would ensure that state, local, and federal labor protections to all workers, regardless of the workers' immigration status. We know the only way to pass comprehensive immigration legislation is by uniting with different communities to show our elected officials that there is strength in numbers. And that's why SEIU has joined coalitions, joined in coalition with um, business communities, immigrant rights groups, other unions, and, and important organizations like NACASAC. This grassroots alliance where we actually talk to workers in the community, talk to workers at the work site, make sure that we're, we're um, out there on the streets and talking to community members that our members live and work in um, is not only important to this movement, we think it's imperative. So that is why the Service Employees International Union is excited to be part of this ad campaign and to work in coalition with important allies to make sure that Congress addresses um, the need for immigration reform this year by enacting bipartisan immigration laws that are sensible, fair, and realistic. So we proudly support this campaign across the country and in all of our, our cities, and, and we'll be talking to our members at the work sites and mobilizing the troops. Thank you. SEIU라고 그 전국 서비스 노조 서부 지역 그 정치 국장이신 그 코니 피오 씨께서 말씀하셨는데요. 그 SEIU는 그 미국 내에서 가장 그 많은 그 노조원들을 갖고 있고 전국적으로 180만 명의 어 180만 명의 그 노조원들이 있고 그 중에 한 20%가 이민자고요. 그리고 이제 캘리포니아는 60만 명의 그런 그 노조원들이 이제 그 SEIU에서 활동을 하고 계시고요. 어 그리고 지금 그런 이 총괄적인, 포괄적인 이민자 개혁 정책, 특히 그 선임위자분들의 어떤 노동력을 보장하고 그분들이 미국에 합법적으로 어, 신분 변경을 어, 할수 있기에는 지금 그 맥케인 케네디 법안이 좋은 첫 시발점으로 우리들이 당장 그 통과돼야 하는 중요한 그 법안이라고 말씀하셨고요. 그리고 이런 법안을 통과시키면서 우리가 그 서류미비자분들이 미국에서 열심히 일하시고 어, 하시는 분, 그런 분들의 어떤 그 어, 노동력을 또 인권을 보장하고 그분들의 권리를 지키는 것이 어, 가장 중요하고 우리 커뮤니티가 연대해서 우리가 원하는 이민 정책들을 어, 우리가 어, 정치인들에게 알리고 또 이런 광고 캠프를 통해서 우리 커뮤니티에게 또 어, 홍보하고 교육하는 것이 어, 가장 그 중요한 사안이라고 말씀하셨습니다. Finally, this campaign is about all of us, the hundreds of groups and thousands of individuals who will feel this campaign. An early endorsing organization for this campaign is the Korean Immigrant Worker Advocates, and we're pleased to have Danny Park, the Executive Director of the organization, joining us today.
아 이게 그 컴퓨터 